I want my second shooter to capture those candid moments while the first photographer is busy shooting. So while I'm shooting these large groupings, if I have that pretty much under control, ideas that JD could possibly shoot are flower girls playing with the flowers, sleeping babies in the arms of loved ones, grandmas sitting and waiting, family taking shots or toasting, right? Because that's usually how when families are just waiting, they're just like, hey, bring some cocktails down here, and they're just waiting. I'm missing all of those moments, but I want my second shooter to be getting that. Yeah. Family pic families taking pictures of families. Love those. Brides love them. You know, whether or not we're going to end up in the photo album, but this is, this is the stuff that gets shared on Facebook. Um, family laughing and having a good time. Usually with all the kids, the shot that I think JD you, is usually waiting for is I usually ask the bride and her siblings to kind of get together and to kind of get in close and mom and dad are just looking at them from a distance. There's a moment in a parent's eyes where they realize like life has changed. Yeah. And to capture that, I think that JD is always ready for that. And those are so valuable to me. So um, in light of that, I don't want um, second photographers to underestimate the value of the side angle. I'm going to show how this parlays. You'll see it today in today's edit, but I'm going to show it right now um, yeah. um, in, a, in a photo. Did you want to say something? I was going to say uh, the side angles for immediate family is always it's a, it's a, it's key. The side angle for like the the 30, 40 people group right. groupings. I don't right. usually get that. That's when I'm shooting candids. So I'm getting side angles from for the, the immediate family mostly and siblings. Well, that's so it, here's an family. example of what of how this parlayed at a recent wedding. So we shot this wedding at La Estancia in La Jolla, California. I was shooting with the 50 millimeter. This is a very typical daughter and parents photo. Now this showcases where I was standing and where JD was standing. Now our assistant Kendra, you know, grabbed the camera out of our bag because I told her, I'm like, hey, we're going to Creative Live. Can you step a photo? <laughs> and so she did this. So it was great though because it shows where JD is standing. It also shows that he's sh uh, shooting with the 85. And this is the picture that transpired. So you know, the traditional photo is going to be included in the edit. But what she posted on Facebook was that one. And I'm very happy with it. And these are the types of photos that JD will capture and always it's clutch. So as a first shooter, I understand the value and importance of, and now I have a similar photo of them laughing, but the angle is different. And the 85, again, he talked about that photojournalistic appeal that gets in there. That's what I'm lacking when I'm standing at a distance with the 50. Jasmine's getting the safe shot. You know, first right. shooters are always getting that safe shot. So as second shooters, this is.